Breaking Bad is a masterpiece of modern television that captivated audiences with its intricate plotlines and unforgettable characters. One of the most fascinating characters in the series is Gustavo Fring, a soft-spoken and methodical drug lord who runs a successful fast food chain as a front for his illicit activities. Throughout the series, Fring proves to be a formidable adversary for Walter White, but he also shows moments of unexpected compassion and loyalty. One of the most puzzling moments in the show is when Fring warns DEA agent Hank Schrader about a potential hit on his life. In this video, I will explore the motivations behind Fring's decision to warn Hank and what it reveals about his character and the complex web of relationships in Breaking Bad. When we look at the actions and behaviors of certain people, how often do we ask ourselves why? Sometimes, people's motivations for doing certain things aren't as simple as we wish them to be. Although they do tend to become a hurdle in navigating our interpersonal relationships, in fiction, the so often vague relationship between intent and behavior can lend itself well to some of the most intriguing and engaging kinds of storytelling. Breaking Bad has a lot of these moments. The wide variety of characters' conflicting drives and motivations pile up on top of one another in a deliberate web of tension and release. As one of the most influential antagonists in the series, Gus Fring exemplified this notion well. Being a secretive figure, much of Gus's inner thoughts and drives were hidden beneath multiple facades. What went through his mind as he shanked one of his arguably blameless subordinates to death with a box cutter? How could he know in that one visit to the hospital that returning to his car was dangerous? In this video, Gus's intricacies as a character are properly examined through the analysis of a particular action. In Season 3, as revenge for killing their cousin Tuco, the Salamanca twins made an attempt at Hank Schrader's life. The only reason that Hank survived this encounter was because of Gus Fring's prior warning. Made anonymously, the call warned Hank that he had one minute before two men would arrive to kill him. Why did Gus warn him of the incoming assault? After all, the DEA wasn't exactly his friend. Furthermore, he even prompted the attack, shifting the target of the Salamanca's rage away from Walter White. Examining Gus's motivations for doing so would lead us to a better understanding of his character. One of the things that we need to understand is why Gus made the deal with the twins in the first place. Originally, the Salamancas blamed Walter White for the death of Tuco. However, this was a problem for Gus because, at the time, he still needed Walt to cook for him as Walt made the best methamphetamine on the market. Gus himself actually also had somewhat of a plan to get rid of Walt eventually, deeming him too unstable and impulsive. That was why when confronted by the Salamancas about Walter White, Gus insisted that they could only get rid of Walt after his business with Walt was concluded. It's important to explore further why Gus wanted to get rid of Walter White to better understand the context of the call. From the beginning, Gus saw Walt as more problem than he was worth. His reckless and impulsive behavior, combined with his ingenious wit, didn't appeal to Gus's approach, one he perceived to be more deliberate and methodical. However, he couldn't deny that Walt's products were the best on the market. Gus's eventual decision to work with Walt was only made with the bigger plan of seizing Walt's means of production. If Gus had the ability to replicate the purity of Walt's methamphetamine, then Gus would no longer need him. This plan was done through the deliberate pairing of Gail Bonnicher with Walter White in Gus's meth lab. Gail was meant to learn from Walt until he became sufficient to cook on his own, and then Walt was to be eliminated. However, Gail wasn't quite ready. Gus knew that he had to postpone the Salamanca's fury in order to give time for Gail to be able to replicate Walt's formula. Initially, Gus merely tried to tell the Salamancas to wait a little bit more. However, when they visited Walt at his own home, Gus knew he had to act. Gus knew that making them wait wasn't good enough anymore. Gus knew that if Walt were to survive, someone else had to take the fall. This takes us back to why Gus struck a deal with the twins. At that point, Gus knew they weren't backing down, so Gus gently reminded them that it was technically Hank, not Walt, that killed their cousin Tuco. Seemingly satisfied by this change in direction, the Salamanca twins immediately made an attempt at Hank's life. This was also where Gus decided to warn Hank of the incoming attack. Warning Hank benefited Gus in a couple of ways. The first one was how much it would help Gus's ultimate goal of getting his own personal revenge on the cartel and the Salamancas. Gus's vengeance was his strongest motivation to stay in the drug business throughout the entire series. After finding out what happened between Gus and the cartel, we know that Gus had been biding his time, plotting the downfall of the cartel in revenge against Hector Salamanca. Giving Hank a one-minute head start was enough for the DEA officer to do serious damage to the twins. In this sense, Gus was killing two birds with one stone. On one hand, he managed to deter them from killing Walter White, 
but at the same time he was also crippling the amount of power that the Salamancas have in the cartel. Another reason that Gus warned Hank was that if Hank were to die, it might reflect badly on Gus. While at this point the series hadn't explicitly stated that Gus was aware that Hank and Walt were related, we could safely infer this detail from Gus's characterization. When Gus finally explicitly discovered that Walt and Hank were related, it was implied that the fact wasn't exactly news to him. Assuming Gus knew about how they were related, it would not be wise for Gus to let Hank die. It wasn't out of the question that Walt might turn to him, somehow discovering how he was related to the murder of his brother-in-law. Even if that wasn't the case, Hank dying could also strengthen Walt's desire to quit the drug business, which naturally would be more of a problem for Gus than it already was. Knowing how volatile Walt can be, Gus might have anticipated these circumstances that he would not be able to control. Although there was no guarantee that Hank would survive, this resulted in an increased likelihood that Gus would have fewer factors he needed to worry about. These two reasons were most likely some of the things that crossed his mind when Gus made that phone call. As a character, Gus is written as patient and careful. Through his action of making the call to warn Hank, he managed to turn a situation that could potentially cause him trouble into something that allowed him to further his personal plans. Walt was safe, the cartel weakened, and Hank was alive, therefore preventing Walter's further mental devolvement into instability. This kind of writing is plenty in the Breaking Bad series. Gus Fring as a character was a slippery, intelligent figure. His action of giving a warning call to Hank, while seemingly simple, further expressed his defining characteristics as one of the more compelling, competently written villains of the Breaking Bad universe.